It's time for some tea on Plus TV Africa. Welcome to Entertainment News Analysis Program where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and as usual, I'm never here alone. I'm here with Ewa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunkeye. Hey guys. Yeah. Yeah. Who you missed doing? me? <sighs> the viewers missed you. <laughs> you didn't miss me. <laughs> She has to think about it. Just take it as a you no. Didn't me. No, I do not. Thank you, the viewers. I love you guys. <laughs> I live for you. I breathe for you. I don't breathe for those ladies on this table. Uh, you're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think um, our first story this morning has to be one of the biggest. It has to do with Genevieve and um, Lionheart will be representing Nigeria at 2020 Oscars. The film has been selected by the Nigerian Oscar Selection Committee to represent the country in the international feature film category of the 2020 Oscars. The group announced the selection on Wednesday following a statutory vetting and subsequent voting of entries received from Nigerian filmmakers at home and in the diaspora. So I think um, this is the first um, submission we are going to have or that was selected since the NOSC was inaugurated in 2014. And I think this is a very big one for Nigeria. I hope the Lionheart wins too, but it's, I don't know. I just feel like it's not something that will happen. But I just <laughs> pray that it happens. You know, when you wish, mm. you get both. It's Oscar and there are other movies there. Mm. But I hope that at least it, it was able to meet up with all the um, rules. Basic and, criteria. Yeah, so let's hope for the best. It's all of pays. Um, we were nominated for the Grammys. Femi Kuti has been nominated. Um, Sean Kuti has been nominated. And then a whole lot of other artists have been nominated for the Grammys. It's all a phase. That's what mm. I believe. So it's a stepping stone. This is the first time that a Nigerian movie has been nominated. No, I don't think it's nominated yet. It's just submitted. So yeah, it's submitted. It has to and to um, go it's through representing. Another, yeah, for Nigeria. But obviously, mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't want to um, stay and being optimistic or not being optimistic. Mm optimistic I'm just going to say that I definitely believe that this will be chosen especially now that Africa is on the map especially now that our music is out there especially now that we're being the third largest um, movie producing um, country in the world um, it's only natural and mm -hmm. I believe it's only a time frame mm. before you know it even if she doesn't get it this is a win for us the fact that we're nominated Sean Kuti didn't win but we're also proud that we're nominated on the Grammys mm. and this is that. not nominated yes for me once she's nominated I will say yes it's a win, it's a win it's for a me win. right but right now no, no, she, that's, this that's is not what guaranteed. is going to the represent the fact that it's nominated doesn't mean no no, no I'm not no, saying no, no, if it's nominated we have won no I'm saying no, no, the, uh, the being nominated is, is enough not recognition like you said in your mm -hmm. introduction all the movies have been put in as entries but they've never been chosen from right? the NOS like from here. Nigeria yeah, but they have no, never been chosen right now this was chosen mm -hmm. by the Oscars. Now that's a big deal. The no, by the committee, by the com in Nigeria. Nigeria committee. I understand that it's by the Nigerian committee, but do you know how many other movies have been put into the Nigerian committee that mm. haven't been chosen? Yeah, I mean, mm. they do you understand? That too. The fact that this is was, chosen is it win. means that it it is a win mm. already. That is, it met its all the criteria. Basic and when criteria, we're talking about yeah. all the basic criteria, we're talking about picture quality, directing, production, cinematography, indigenous language. indigenous language, all of that. So that's a win, regardless of how you want to look at it. Mm. Whether she is nominated, whether she wins the award or not, this is a win that you are the first person that has met with all these criteria. Mm. So I think we need to start appreciating what we have instead of looking at, oh, uh, nah, uh, mm, mm, mm. Well, I actually do appreciate this, but I still stand on what I'm saying. I just want to see her on that nomination list. Mm. And I think that's going to be the biggest win for me because it's going to be a case of everybody's going to know that there's Lionheart. And I think I'm glad that she's on the Netflix plat platform. So it's, it's not a case of, oh, what is Lionheart? If you're seeing it for the first time, you can easily go to yeah, a platform that is available yeah. to you to check it out and then decide um what standard it is compared to the ones they are nom they, they will be nominated alongside right so mm. i'm just hoping that it is nominated that's my biggest prayer right now me i'm just happy that nigeria were improving in mm -hmm. almost at least entertainment um parts of us were in were improving the a, a movie has never met the basic criteria but 
now we at least have one movie mm -hmm. that has been able to meet up with, up with all the criteria. That means we are getting there very soon. We have like all other movies. We won't have just one movie or two or three. We have so many. Mm. All right, moving on from that story to R. Kelly, the judge denies his request to stay out of jail. According to new legal documents obtained by TMZ, the government says Kelly is, Kelly is definitely a fly, at flight risk, and if he gets out of jail, um, he would probably find his way to some other country that they will be able to get hold of him. Um, the singer's legal team claims his passport doesn't contain a single stab string international travel but um, the prosecutors are not having that they feel like i think they're saying recently after he was um, granted bail and i think illinois or something mm. his two girlfriends got a passport right and i also saw that he they're saying he's not broke with them. that he's not broke that um he's diverting his um what's the corner royalties, royalties and all yeah. that to a friend's account so all the this, is fine. Is, yeah. So all this, are st they, they still have to prove this, right? But if it's in legal documents, then I'm sure they are able to prove it. And once the judge calls on that to be proven, they will. So he's still in jail. Long and short of his story. I mean, I, as I can't remember, if I don't know if you remember, I think there was one time that he was um, charged with obstruction of justice mm -hmm. because he didn't um, go to court. Am I right? Can you remember then? Uh, I think the word is um, uh, tampering. It's also in this document also that yeah. if he's let out, he might intimidate. Inti yeah. um, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm even talking about like if if he gets out on bail, he missed the bench warrant. He missed a be yeah. I think he missed the bench warrant, and that was one of the reasons why um, he wasn't granted this bill. And apart from that, with his history of I don't know intimidating witness mm -hmm. and all of that, I don't think any judge would be so confident enough to let him out there. And with this story, you just told us of him planning to go to Dubai with his two girlfriends and everything. I mean, he's serving, he's, if he's found guilty, he's going to be in jail for over 200 years. Oh. Anybody will find a way of running out of that, mm -hmm. you know? So you re if I'm the judge, I won't trust him either, so. After the show, please kindly sue me, yeah? But finally, I have come to the conclusion that Al Kelly is guilty on all charges. As the judge, he fell in the house, you can hear of Plus TV Africa. He fell up somebody will not come and sue you. Sue me after the show. I'm, oh, I'm letting you know that, but like we all say on this table, there's no smoke without fire, and mm -hmm. there has been too much smoke, Carl Kelly. This one's not smoke. The whole house is burning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's no way you can tell me and how Kelly is not guilty on at least one charge. So I think if you're a child predator, if you're a sexual offender, if you're a rapist, if you're somebody out there and you're still free, your day of reckoning is coming. If it's someone like Hal Kelly and now he's in jail, then fine, it's Hal Kelly. That's why he's gaining global recognition, right? But if you feel like you can get away with a lot of things that you think you do, then you better think again. Because I'm going to tell you confidently that I believe, and this is my opinion, which is why I said sue me after the show, but Hal Kelly is guilty on some charges. I won't say all on some charges and at the end of the day if you're guilty then you should be held back in jail regardless of whether you're a celebrity or not regardless of whether you can pay the bill or not but you need to pay the price for your crimes because there are lives that you have destroyed that can never ever 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 be fixed again so think again if you think you're doing the wrong thing and you think you can get away with it uh, okay. and now R. Kelly for me I think R. Kelly should stop making excuses mm. his lawyers like coming with like Tons of excuses. Yeah, they're doing their job. He's last, sick. Yeah, they it's a job. It. That's yeah, just it. It's mm. their job, but they need to slow down. <laughs> All right, it's time for a very quick break. We're all ready to it'll be time for some more stories. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. I 
can still make music and people are still buying. I'm sorry, they look myself minimal eye, you. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people that got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping, <laughs> <laughs> sleeping, <laughs> <laughs>
you said partially he shouldn't be on the list. So let's look at what happened previously when Ricardo Corede, Kiss Daniel, and uh, um, Leo, Kesh. You know, Leo Kesh. Kesh was on this list. Now, mm. looking at what Rema has done or the time frame that he's been in the industry, That's why I said partially. you could still say he can be on that list. It's not a case of, in fact, if he's not on the list, then it's not supposed to be on any list. Do you know, do you know why I said Rema shouldn't be there partially? There? Because mm -hmm. even Rema doesn't see himself at someone that shouldn't be on that list because I think a few weeks ago, maybe like a week or two ago, mm -hmm. should I, did, that's not few, <laughs> a week or two ago, mm -hmm. um, Rema put it out there that six months that I have been activated into this game and mm -hmm. I have this and he did some appreciation mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? In six months, that's why I said partially. Mm -hmm. So if you were activated into the game and say, Hey, but remember, the, remember it is next no. rated. Zlatan. 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 That's what I'm saying partially, partially for Rema. Yeah. That maybe because Do of the time frame. Because of the time frame and how much he has emanced for that's what he's saying. in six months. Mm -hmm. is, but it's, if you're looking at... But if you uh, want to look at how much Rema has made compared to every other person on that list. He's not supposed to be on that list. I get what you're saying. But I get what he's saying. I'm saying looking at the past... And looking at where Leo Kesh, Ricardo Banks, Kiss Daniel were at the time, you could say that they were in a place where Zlatan is now. Why you talk about Olamide? No, 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 Olamide has the street fans. Mm -hmm. Olamide is the street king. No, I'm not Ola talking about Wait, no, no, winning no, no, it or no, not winning no, it. I'm it, talking about that making the level, the list. Like she's saying, um, the level um, Ricardo Banks. At that time, were, at that time. No, 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 they Don't were let us all be on regressing. At the time, I can't progress. even say that. They're regressing. They let us progress. Anyways, if the industry has progressed, like they let us progress. Zlatan the industry. don't deserve this category. No, he doesn't. Oh, to be honest, he's no, way bigger like, than okay. yeah. I've been teaching that in Chipari. You cannot learn it on this show. Chipaku, marry Chipaku. Chipaku, marry Chipaku. Chipaku, Chipaku, marry Chipaku. Chipaku, marry Chipaku. Chipaku, marry Chipaku. Zlatan. Respect. I sure just want to say that I I admire. What Zlatan is doing with his brand on social media. He has mastered the art and knows what you people want. Pari, 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 pari. <laughs> so, whether he does something that gets you angry or he does something that gets you happy, he's doing it deliberately. Look at what he did with Tatcha. I mean, we've never yeah, talked about Tatcha. Yeah, that was Tatcha, so deliberate. Right? I know that people say it is body shaming and is it what? I don't know. They said he, he was going to ah, push her into depression <laughs> and all that. Lady. But I'm yeah, sorry, that, that, is, that is, those are the kind of things he needs to do to not stay too. relevant. Because mm. we don't pay attention to the important things anymore. Those right. are the kind of things. If he had come out to sing a song to say, don't shame Tatcha, don't shame Tatcha, that thing would the not be People would not pay attention, right? <laughs> right? So he understands what you guys want and he's giving it to you. <coughs> Excuse me, sister. <clears throat> Kilo! <laughs> okay, let's go on a quick break. But when we come back, we have more stories. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And the final story is on YC. He's saying that Igbo women were put on this ad for Yoruba men. Yoruba man. Um, well, Afa. I'm not going to try to be tribalistic. I think love is love. I think wherever you find love, if you find love with um, Aousa, 
American, Indian, Kenyan, South African, whatever it is. If you have you found love? Uh, have, have I you found, found love? love? Um, I found love in different places in the oh. mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. I've dated an able woman. I've dated Aosa before. I've dated she um, experience. an ah. Argentinian girl. A girl from Argentina. I dated I a she girl. Was your cousin. I dated a girl from Morocco. <laughs> I've dated a girl from um, Spain. I've dated a girl from. Um, it's okay, fair. Come um, back to the topic. I've dated the. Move around. Move around. I've dated the Czech girl. I've dated the Calabar girl. I've dated all tribes, mm -hmm. and mm. I've, wow. I've found love. In a particular place, yes, I have found love in a Yoruba In all girl. those places. Aww. Aww. I have found love in a Yoruba girl. <laughs> so I really do not understand where it is coming from, but I do not want to discriminate whatever any man thinks. If YC has been meeting very proper Igbo girls that have been giving him the right paths to mm. follow, <laughs> <laughs> then good luck to YC. But it's not even about tribe. It's not about where you're from, mm -hmm. it's about where do I find love. And I found love in a Yoruba girl, so I'm proud of that. Mm. I think it, it was just for him, as, which is, um, as a public figure, that was a very insensitive statement. Because it has been raising a lot of um, talks on social media since he tweeted it. And people have really been, tribes have been coming against each other. And if you read comments, it's really a big deal. And I'm, wondering that coming from a public figure is not as if somebody just lifted it from a random person that probably posted it on their whatsapp story or their instagram story like a whole yc saying that and that just brings me to this um, proverb that says when you're in love don't forget that it will rain or something like that and i don't know i think you are your feelings right that even you people like what do you say Igbo women were made for yoruba men and people say Igbo. Yeah. 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 It does not say Igbo women are the best on earth. Yeah. It does not say Yoruba girls are bad or useless. I think it's, uh, you're not getting in your feelings. I'm you're not. not I'm just Igbo trying. Thing. I mean, I think I'm on the Because she's an Igbo girl. Because I have no And then, have you, are you in love with I'm not even are you getting in love with a Yoruba, Yoruba man? But what I'm you're saying now. Yoruba, no, 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 I'm not. So oh, what tribe is your boyfriend from? What I'm Ibo. saying is, Tell us. is you, you know, sometimes when you speak ah, and I say, let's not generalize from our own little corner. So mm -hmm. I'm not generalizing right now. And I feel like why she spoke from his own little corner also. And I also want to speak from my own little corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my friends and people, I, my Yoruba friends, mm -hmm. men, that really have awesome relationships and are happy. It's usually been with Igbo girls. I'm sorry. That's what has been happening. I did not say I'm generalizing in my corner. No, so no that's what probably I said it's what fine. is coming when from you his find own law. Too, and he's just putting it out there like, okay, maybe when, to him, maybe when he finds an Igbo girl, he feels like it will happen. But like you said, it is not about the tribe. It's, it's about, probably with an Igbo girl. It's about the person you're with. If this person is down for you, loves you, and you put her first, she puts you first, it will work, irrespective of the tribe. You come from, but please, Igbo girls. I'm not in my feelings because I ah, think can be I even have to far. go back. I just remember you said you thought she was my cousin. I beg, please. Ah, can I have your wife? You are too backward. Like, where can I have your wife's this? cousin? No, I just, I just. If you know, you have a mirror, you are home. How can I have your wife's cousin? You know, mirror, you are home. You know, this like extended family. Mm. Ah. Yeah, okay. we need to wrap up though. But yeah, I'm not in my feelings though, but no, in my own opinion. He, he, like, he I, think did, I didn't think he did not know. He did not mean it in any. He, nah, he, did, he wasn't, wasn't trying to bring shape. down it any tribe. It was just, I think it was an honest opinion, mm -hmm. really. And people, as huh. they do on social media, take it out of context. I, we know our Yoruba Baba boys. Has been we know our. We know. We know our Yoruba boys. That we know what they can be. Yeah, so and if that's why that's why even the ones who are alive, the Igbo girls, and that's why see, that's why I understand what the wife is trying. About very Does responsible I mean, I... Igbo girls, mm. they are the sweetest girls to date. The responsible <laughs> Igbo girls. So responsible. <laughs> and that's how we wrap up on and this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, you can always catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my awesome co anchors, Ewa Ritu and Ife Olu And of Bye. course, the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.